It's been more than two weeks since a Roanoke woman was killed on Williamson Road. Police say Jody McFarland died in a hit and run, and tonight they're still looking for answers, and so is the victim's family. 10 News reporter Sydney Jacksheimer spoke exclusively with Jody's sister about what she's doing to find her sister's killer. She was vibrant. She just, she shined. She was beautiful. A mother, a daughter, and a sister. Joni McFarlane had many roles until her life came to an end in January when she was killed during a hit and run on Williamson Road, according to Roanoke Police. She did not deserve to be hit and left laying to die for five hours on the side of the road in the frozen snow. Jody's sister, Allison McFarlane, says she's working with investigators to help piece together what happened in the moments leading up to Jody's death. I've seen the video where my sister was hit, um, and I watched her as she was approaching and walking. She was walking, facing traffic, and then you see her literally mowed down, and you don't see the brakes tapped at all. This is the spot where Jody's body was found. Her sister Allison is asking people who may have walked or driven by to speak up and talk to police about what they may have seen. If it was your mother, if it was your sister, if it was your daughter, how would you feel? I understand um, that accidents happen, terrible accidents happen, life altering accidents happen. Um, just come forward. Roanoke police released these photos of a white Ford Explorer because they believe the driver may have information about the case. If you know anything about this car or the death of Jody McFarlane, contact Roanoke police at 540-344-8500. Callers can remain anonymous. I just want to see some justice for her. In Roanoke, Sydney Jacksheimer, 10 News, working for you.